Hi guys, Tim Tam here, your head ninja. Today we're doing a get ready with me and naisip ko lang na medyo gawa lang ng mabilis na video of get ready discussing one of my current addictions ngayong quarantine. Ngayon ko lang na-discover na magugustuhan ko pala yung K-pop. Tapos ngayon ang addiction ko is BL naman. So today I'm going to get ready, prep up, and discuss some of... Um, well, actually, one of my favorite BLs ngayon, which is Game Boys. So, if you're up for that, stay tuned. I'll try to make this very quick lang kasi wala naman akong plano masyado today. I'm sorry kung may narinunig kayong ingay sa labas. No? So, I'm going to prep up with Glam Glow, Glow Starter. Mega Illuminating Moisturizer niya. No? This is in the shade Pearl because I like to always kita ba? I always like to moisturize my skin and make it as illuminated as possible. No? I'm, I'm sorry, tumitingin ako dito kasi may mirror ako dyan. And then, yung pinaka-mirror ko actually is nandito. No? So, um, I lightly dab this all over my face. So, speaking of, no, um, I've been sobrang addicted to Game Boys. No? No, parang, I saw it lang siguro mga 3 or 2 weeks ago. I think 3 weeks ago. Ah yeah, 2 weeks ago lang. 2 weeks ago bago kami bumalik to work and I can't stop talking about it as in sobrang non-stop how many of you have actually seen Game Boys can you like comment down below so we can like start a discussion doon no? kasi parang you know, what I really like about the show is they were able to tackle the current situation ngayon which is nasa buhay buhay during pandemic and Ang galing, ang galing, ang galing even the characters. I'm gonna put lang siguro some more sa under eye ko kasi medyo dry yung under eye ko. And I can't wait to moisturize my lips. Sobrang dry niya. Okay, so, ang dal, -dal ko, no? Um, what I really love about the show is they were able, each character was able to capture a different persona. And I think, personally, I could see myself kay Kai kay Kai Lazaro and I can see myself kay Terrence no, I can see myself kay Kai na parang parang everything is new to him and everything is sobrang na basta he's super naive and he doesn't really care about the signs or na parang pag may gusto sa isang tao you don't really know the signs or you don't even understand kung ano yung signs kasi everything is just new to you na parang akala mo parang isa lang siyang isang malaking laro no and then I can really um, I can really see myself in Terence then no kung papa I mean hindi yung bad side ni Terence ha pero I could see myself in Terence in the sense na parang oh my gosh I'll moisturize my lips na muna I can see myself in Terence the side na parang oh my gosh I can like I think I'm actually sad at times, no? Na parang this pandemic has caused me unnecessary sadness, na parang unnecessary everything. Unnecessary everything. Yun na lang, siguro. Um, yung pandemic na to has heightened all of our senses, na parang, why am I sad? Diba? Parang, bakit ako masaya? Bakit ako malungkot? Parang there are times na I would question myself yung mga tanong na yun. And then, Nakarelate nila ako kay Terence when he he was trying to look for somebody na he could talk to pero walang available na tao to talk to him na parang oh my gosh sa pandemic ngayon that's like the worst experience or I don't know what's the term pero yun ang pinaka hindi dapat may experience ng kahit sino sabi ko nga eh sa mga friends ko Nobody deserves to be alone nor feel alone. Ngayong pandemic, ito yung time na dapat you are supporting each other and you're trying to support and spread positivity to everybody. Parang ito yung moment na yun. And they were able to capture it nicely doon sa, sa series, no? Let me check. So, para medyo konting mat lang ng konti, I'm going to 
dab it lightly with tissue para lang matanggal yung extra shine para lang mag last tayo the whole day although actually bahay lang naman ako the whole day ngayon I'm thinking of filming another video after this lang no? so I'm going to I don't know maybe declutter or show you a collection of something after moisturizing I think medyo nag set na siya what I love about this Glam Glow Moisturizer is it's super illuminating. So, kung medyo hindi mo gusto yung um, super illuminated and medyo oily looking, I'm not sure if you're going to like this. Kasi hindi siya yung nandun sa border ng tamang glow lang. Nandun siya sa medyo lagpas doon. And then, to prime my face para lang medyo mawala yung mga pores and blur out everything, I'm going to use Revlon's Photo Ready uh, Primer. Ito yung luma pa, no? Hindi pa ito yung bago. Pero I actually have the new one yung tatlo, yung parang may skincare benefits ayan na ayaw niya lumabas, diba? parang ang hirap nito palabasin kapag I'm actually on one third as in actually paubos na siya no? and hindi ako madalas makaubos ng anything well, not until I've entered college, siguro hindi na ako nakakaubos kasi I always buy, so I'm going to open it na lang and I'm going to use this one, I know I'm sobrang unsanitary but personal ko naman to hindi ko naman to binibento or bibigay kahit kanino when I've watched season 1 hindi ko actually planong tapusin I'm discussing lang yung sa Netflix season sa kasi I mean isa pa lang naman yung season niya pero I'm talking about the episodes kasi magkaiba sila ng numbering sa YouTube and sa sa Netflix. Sa Netflix kasi hanggang season 13 siya. Tapos nagtataka ko, bakit siya sabi nila hanggang season 12.5 or 13.5? Kasi meron kasing extra na lumabas eh. Nung unang pinanood ko siya, I, 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 I didn't think or I didn't feel na parang I would actually watch something na ganito or I would actually fall in love into something na medyo well, hindi ko madalas panoorin kasi I don't really like watching dinab ko lang yung face ko. Ayoko lang masyadong nanonood ng mga series kasi medyo nakakaubos oras talaga siya and ayoko ma-addict kasi hindi ako nakatulog sa gabi. Unfortunately, hindi na ako nakatulog sa gabi kasi tinapos ko siya ng isang upuan. And now, I'm going to conceal my under eye using itong Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Actually, foundation stick to, no? pero lately I like using foundation sticks and creams para i-cover yung under eye before I put on my foundation. So again, nakatingin na ako dito kasi nandito yung salamin ko. First season pa lang, sabi ko, oh my god! As in like super kilig, as in <sighs> parang parang gusto ko na magka, maghanap ng isa stock ko online. <laughs> parang gusto kong manood ng, or gusto kong mag, mag tinder or gusto kong mag ayaw ko ay, uh, like I could like think of a lot of things right now na parang gusto kong gawin na parang I know that this would only happen on movies and I, this, this would only happen on scenarios like this hindi naman to pang everyday na nangyayari on a, for a regular person pero parang ang sarap ma in love nung pinanood ko siya no? parang ang sarap ng ang sarap ng feeling na parang feeling bata ka feeling bagets ka na parang I mean I'm like 100 years old. For real, for real. Now I'm going to put foundation on. I'm using Laura Mercier's Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. I super love this kasi meron siyang exactong dewiness na binibigay sa skin na mukhang healthy looking skin lang. Medyo tricky lang yung pagkuha ng um, shade. I think any foundation from Laura Mercier medyo hirap pa kung maghanap ng shade. I don't know why pero parang um, hindi siya, parang tumatalon-talon siya. Na parang you would think na parang shade 1 should be darker than shade 2, etc, etc. Pero parang hindi ganun yung case. I don't, I just, I don't, just, okay, just try tapos antayin yung mag-oxidize sa skin ninyo. And I'm using this flat kabuki na parang mushroom brush na malaki from, from Blood King. I know medyo light pa siyang tingnan ngayon, no? Pero, later mag oxidize yan and yung powder na gagamitin ko is medyo warm naman so medyo magpapantay yan ngayon it looks a little light a little light actually I can see it here na maputi talaga siya but trust me it will oxidize a 
alam mo nakakatuwa yung friendship na nabuo nila I mean, I'm sure kay Kai when he was talking to Gav I'm sure he was looking at it at a friend level pero syempre si Gav iba yung tinitignan no? kasi parang this was all new to Kai kasi he's not he's not sure I mean, I know na nagsabi siya kung ano talaga yung sexuality niya, diba? But I'm sure na hindi pa niya na-experience yung mga ganito na parang sabi nga niya, hindi niya alam yung feeling ng nililigawan, hindi niya feel, alam yung feeling ng araw-araw ka kinakausap or may nangungulit sa'yo everyday. So, alam mo yung parang it brings you back to your childhood na parang nung mga days na nakikipag-phone pal ka pa or kagawa ka ng love letter to somebody na crush na crush mo na gusto mong ligawan parang it brings you back to that age although dinala nila dito sa modern era so parang ay nakakakilig siya and then nung dumating si Pearl akala ko nga actually hindi ko magugustuhan si Pearl eh. I, I, I didn't quite think na parang magugustuhan ko yung role ni Adriana Sodon so turns out na parang sobrang kalog pala niya and super fun na nakakatuwa siya na parang the main reason kung ba't pinalad ko rin ng Pearl Next Door which I will discuss in my next get ready or whatever pero sobrang nag-enjoy ako kasi yung friendship that Pearl and Gav has is sobrang kakaiba na parang sabi ko shock sana may sana may ganun din akong friendship no? na parang sana may ganun akong kaklose na friend I mean I have a lot of friends I have circle of friends, I have different circles of friends na parang iba-iba yung mga ugali, no? yung isang group ko is sobrang kalog, yung isang group ko is sobrang religious, yung isang group ko is for work, etc. And wala, nakakaingit lang na parang you can actually get a friend na parang si Pearl who will support you 100% on everything that you do and that you wanna do. Parang I'm happy, no? Tapos, um, when they were discussing no, yung isang episode nga dun is called Thrill of the Chase ba yun? I actually wrote it down here, no? Yung isang episode nga na Thrill of the Chase na parang shocks, muntik na akong madala dun muntik na akong maniwala na Gab was just after, Gab was just after the thrill, ano? nung siniraan ni Terence si Gab so parang God, sabi ko, totoo ba to? parang kapag ka Thrill of the Chase lang yung nangyayaring to what will happen sa, in, sa, sa the rest of the seasons? kasi season 3 pa lang parang doon na sinasabi na parang oh he's just after you kasi he likes you kasi you're trying to avoid him or pinapush away mo siya yun ang gusto ng tao I mean <laughs> brings me back to my childhood na parang napakapabebe na parang oh my gosh parang pag may gusto sa'yo yung tao pinapush away mo na parang pag gusto sa'yo ng tao parang hindi totoo to I'm not worth him I'm not worth it I'm not worth the prize or whatever. Basta parang hindi ako yung para sa kanya. Yung parang mapapaisip ka lang gano'n na parang grabe no, parang akong, parang akong 18 years old again na parang <sighs> bago tayo mag move forward, I'm going to set my other eye lamp bago siya mag using Nichido's Creamy Glow. Yeah, I'm using Creamy Glow. So, sabi ko parang how will the season go on? Na parang ganito lang, nag-ahabulan lang sila sa Zoom, sa, um, they call it, I forgot what it's called, pero yung version nila ng Facebook and Instagram. Parang ganito lang yung nangyayari dito sa dalawang to. Paano tatagal yung season ng ganun lang, na parang tumatakbo ka lang na nag-uusap kayo ng ganyan, nagpupulitan and all. And, apparently, no, yung kalagitnaan, sobrang iyak ako ng iyak na, hindi ko yung na-expect na iiyak ako ng iiyak. Kasi nakakaiyak talaga yung part na namatay yung dad niya. Oh my god, sobrang spoiler ko ba na parang hindi ko na kaibinigyan ang chance na manood kasi parang kinukwento ko na yung mga big events na nangyari doon. Anyway, I was, I was sobrang moved na parang I was sobrang pissed nung namatay yung dad niya. No? And iyak ako ng iyak kasi parang he was blaming himself for what happened to his dad. And I think hindi dapat I mean, alam mo ba't ako naiyak? Kasi alam mo, sabi ko, kailangan na natin mag-blush using EB Advance. It's color cream and I super love this kasi a little goes a long way talaga dito and it's super pigmented. I'm gonna put it under my powder bago ako mag-final um, sa powder, no? But sabi ko, reality of it is it actually can happen to anybody. No? Na parang 
sa panahon ngayon, sa pandemic na nangyayari, you can never tell kung sino ang tatamaan ng sakit, sino ang tatamaan ng COVID, hindi mo alam kung sino yung bibigay, sino yung tatagal. Nakakapraning, sabi ko, sabi ko sana, alam mo nung after, y- 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 the next day na, natapos ko yung series is mga 3am yata eh, so sobrang puyat ako, and then the next day I have to go to work. Parang yun lang yung pinag-uusapan ko the whole day. Pinag-uusapan ko yung scenario na may tricycle sa likod. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Ay, ako. Parang ang paulit-ulit ko lang sinasabi the next day is yung part na namatay yung dad niya. Na parang it's possible talaga. Lumabas yung senior. Mahina ang resistensya. Nagkasakit. And then eventually namatay parang sabi ko sana hindi na lang nilagay yun sa sa script hindi siya nilagay sa buong series hindi siya nilagay sa play kasi personally ako hindi na ako nanonood ng mga news masyado ngayon not unless it's kunyari pag-uusapan yung vaccine for covid or pag-uusapan yung mga changes kunyari nag nagmutate yung covid into something else kung mga ganong mga bagay i would I would make pansin the news pero other than that hindi ko na pinapansin kasi napapraning talaga ako and believe me I'm super praning as in wait. so parang naisip ko talaga na parang i-message ko na kaya yung buong team nila na parang shock sana hindi nyo nilagay yun parang it disturbed my mental wellness na parang ginulo niya yung utak ko for like ilang days and then really ha, nung, nung umiiyak si Kai kasi na, sinabi ng mom niya na namatay yung dad niya, I was also crying as in, naiyak talaga ako dun sa part na sinisisi siya ng kuya niya, si Kuya London ang laki ng legs naiyak ako kasi parang wala naman yatang taong gustong mahawa kahit sino eh ba diba? na parang ay hindi ko pwedeng sabihin kasi ng fully yung mga nangyari kasi parang baka mamaya napaka-spoiler na nitong video ko no? no parang just watch it just watch it kung bakit kung bakit nagkasakit yung dad niya kung bakit namatay yung dad niya basta nakakaya ko sige namatay siya because of COVID and nakakaiyak it was really heartbreaking for me na parang bakit bakit now I'm going to set my face with Fashion 21's loose powder no? in the shade 1 ito yung parang pinaka banana nila but I guess they, the, the, the group wanted to tackle a different topic you know they wanted to maybe make people realize or see the reality of everything etc etc it's basta alam mo ang galing lang talaga ng pagkakagawa ng buong series na parang sobrang makatotohanan niya na parang ang dami mong what if what if I don't know. They made it as realistic as possible, no? At ang nakakatawa pa doon is yung acting nila, it was all supernatural na parang parang sila lang talaga. Na parang damang-dama ko yung authenticity ng mga emotions, how they delivered their lines, na parang siya sabi nga nung pinapad ko kasi yung mga behind the scenes nila, no? Siya sabi nila na they were doing this on their own, sila nagmamanipulate ng computers, sila nag-set up ng sarili nila with the guidance of the team. Parang siguro doon nila nahugot yung pagiging authentic ng lahat. Na parang walang fake, walang acting, na parang feel na feel mo na si Cairo is really Cairo and Gav is really Gav, Pearl is really Pearl, Tennis is Terrence. Na parang it was super nakakatuwa. I'm going to bronze up using J-Cuts Intense Mineral Compact Powder. So, nag-heat pan na ako dito. Binili ko talaga to as bronzer, pero it's actually a regular pressed powder. Siguro sabi nyo, ang gulo-gulo-gulo-gulo na pagkaka-explain ko ng buong series, no? Kasi parang hindi ko... Alam mo yun, parang hirap niyang ikwento ng buo. Parang una pinlano ko, per series ko yung reaction ko. Pero naisip ko, paano ko gagawin yun nang hindi ako nagsa-spoiler alert? I actually want everyone to watch it. Ang dami kong hinihikayat kaya mga friends sa parang, ipanoorin mo to, panoorin mo to. Or, an, pinipili ko silang malat kasi may mapupulot ka talaga dun sa show eh. So, hindi lang siya parang pinakilig ka ni Kokoy and ni Elijah with what's, 
we, uh, how they treated each other dun sa sa series ano pero more than that sobrang makatotohanan ng buong nangyari no na parang hindi alam mo yung parang nawala ako sa sarili ko na parang I wasn't thinking of Elijah being Elijah nakita ko lang si Cairo si Gavil nakita ko lang si Gavil no parang yun yung nakita ko talaga doon sa series kaya parang hindi ko hindi ako nagduda na parang anything was being acted out or super fake kasi sobrang makatotohanan niya siguro kaya nakaka nakaka nawala provoke I guess invoke kaya siya nakaka nakakatawag ng emotions out of me is because sobrang makatotohanan lahat no the, the series is really good hindi ko masabi na parang comfort and guidance and everything during this pandemic eh, no? na parang I can say na parang it's a good eye opener you can get the person you love if you want to if you work hard for it you could lose the people you love because of what's happening in the world basta alam mo yung sinasabi nila na sa isang palabas iyak tawa ito yun eh parang iyak ako ng iyak tawa ako ng tawa tapos nabubwisit ako kay Terence with what he did to the to the two and <sighs> ang dami ang daming nangyayari na parang gusto kong ikwento per series pero parang ayoko kasi parang napaka spoiler ko naman kapag ginawa ko yun parang nung natapos ko yung series sabi ko I want to fall in love I want to connect again to my friends na parang shocks with what happened to Terence parang sabi ko I shouldn't leave my friends hanging baka meron akong friend na hindi ko pinapansin pero unconsciously and what's the term on social media apps and sites unconsciously nagpaparamdam siya na he or she needs help he or she needs comfort na parang minsan akala natin hindi natin kailangan na humingi ng kausap pero actually kausap lang naman talaga yung gusto natin in life you know it made me realize all these things na parang more than the kilig na nakuha ko from the movie na realize ko na I should really value my friends no parang I, after watching it I I've started calling up my old friends no na parang kinakamusta ko yung mga friends ko so, kinakamusta ko yung mga everybody i'm just saying hi to everybody na parang how are you doing during this pandemic na parang even yung mga strangers na parang iniisip ko kasi binabrowse ko yung mga friends ko on facebook na parang sino ba to hindi ko na alam yung mga tao to no, parang I, i just give them i shoot them a message and i tell them na parang how are you doing i hope you're you're doing great and sana yung pandemic ito is not really affecting you especially mentally emotionally no financially i think everybody is struggling naman eh pero on the other aspects of of your growth and your well-being and everything i think yun yung mas importante no and can you imagine dahil lang sa BL series na to na isip ko lahat yun parang my god lagi masyado ko siyang dinibdib no na parang I almost watch it every day din ang ko nga siya sa Netflix ko I watch it siguro before huli kong bilang is 5 and then sabihin mo na siguro ngayon nasa 10 or more pa minsan kasi nagsiskip ako ng mga episodes and just I just watch the kapag ka malungkot ako panonood ko yung mga click parts like nung finally sinabi ni Kai na what's your username um, baby ni Gav before I wrap up going to add a little highlight kasi medyo nasa mood ako mag vlog ng mag film ng next ko which is I'll probably un, un, un show you my highlighter collection so I'm using for Sally this is the for Sally's jelly beam highlighter oh napasobra yung lagay ko as in sobrang dami actually this one sobrang dami niyan Um, Game Boys is actually available sa YouTube and sa Netflix. So if you don't have Netflix, you don't have to worry because it's streaming live. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, it, it's it's go, it's being shown for free sa um, sa YouTube. So you can access it 
in any way no na gusto mo kung saan ka mas komportable I only like watching on Netflix kasi walang ads nakakapraning no na parang ang daming emotions na hinatak sa atin ng pandemic na to and sana matapos na siya no that's why I, siguro that's the reason na na-addict ako sa mga BL bigla kasi pinanood ko bigla yung yung pinanood ko yung kay Pearl yung Pearl Next Door which is also nice and then pinanood ko yung Omando yung kay Kokoy naman and then I started watching all of Kokoy's vlogs and it was super fun nakakatuwa lang si si Kokoy kasi sobrang kalog lang niya and sobrang free and then I've started watching Elijah grabe pala si Elijah no na parang at such a young age alam niya kung ano yung gusto niya So, more than the, the series, na-inspire ako kay Elijah moving forward. Kasi parang si Elijah, he, he, he actually enrolled himself in, in a school, yung high school pa siya or whatever, into acting school. He went to ballet. Kasi bata pa lang siya, alam niya na gusto niya maging artista, gusto niya umarte, gusto niya mag-theater. It was super, super... Um, inspiring no na parang at such a young age ganun mo nakaalam yung gusto mo ako I'm already on my almost 40s no I'm old Nisip ko ano bang mas magandang tanong kung naging character ako doon sino ako Or, sino yung gusto kong maging ako moving forward? Siguro, I just wanna be like Pearl. No? Si Pearl is full of positivity. Pero nga lang, pag, pinood, pag pinood mo yung Pearl next door, you would see a different side of Pearl. Na parang, basta. Tsaka na natin pag-usapan yung kay Pearl. Kasi, Pearl next door is a completely different series. No? And then, if you watch Omando, makakatuwa sila ni Alex Diaz. No? Pero, parang, oh sige ito, spoiler yung Omando, parang si Kokoy, si Kai, parang ganun kasi he wasn't sure of his sexuality yet if anybody knows kung saan ko madadownload yung kanta ni Andrew Florentino doon sa episode 2 ng Omando, yung sa ending sa end credits then please, hindi ko siya mahanap, nakita ko na yung title, nakita ko yung artist, pero hindi ko siya madownload, hindi ko siya mahanap kahit sa ang social, or whatever app, or whatever Google, hindi, wala siya, hindi siya lumalabas hindi siya lumalabas sa YouTube so if you can help me out, please comment down below kung saan ko makukuha yung kanta doon kasi it's super kilig song and with that, I'd like to say thank you for keeping up with me no? uh, as I get ready for my next vlog and next film na gagawin no? I'd really like to say thank you for supporting and following me and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment Um, can you like give me comments on who is your favorite character and papaano mo siya nakagustuhan? Is it because you could relate to them? Or, or mas interesado ko is if you could tell me details about their personal lives, kung papaano sila naging successful in this industry, how they came into this industry and all. Mas interesado ko doon kasi nakabasa na ako ng mga snippets eh, especially sa buhay ni Elijah. He is sobrang inspiring, no? For, 20, for his age na 20, he is sobrang inspiring. Let's discuss on the comment section. I would really appreciate if, if you could give me more, more, more likes so para I can like continue to make more videos and inspire me. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Inspire me to make more videos. Again, this is Tim Tam, your head ninja. Signing off.